Welcome to Stepdad Success, turning the tide on the way stepdads are seen and show up in the world. We're a new breed of leaders raising leaders. Blood or no blood, we raise them as our own. We're connected, loving, and committed to leading them into the future. If you asked a normal dad, he'd say we're doing the impossible. He'd say, but they're not yours. How do you do it? Yet every day, stepdads around the world are forging the way. That's what we call stepdad success. We're leaders raising leaders. And these are our stories. Good morning, stepdads. This is James Klobasa from Stepdad Success. And today I want to talk about choc chip cookies. Yes, I have a hankering for choc chip cookies. Now, I don't eat a lot of them, to be honest. But when there is a packet of choc chip cookies in the house, I will eat the whole packet. You know, I'll share a few with the boys, yes. (laughs) <laughs> but I love a choc chip cookie. And you know what? Sometimes you've just got to spoil yourself. You've just got to go all out and enjoy something. Now, for me, it's choc chip cookies and surfing and occasionally a bit of ice cream. I must say I, do, I am partial to ice cream. But I wanted to ask you today, like, what are you excited about? What's your massive release? What is your indulgence? You know, I also love massages. I also love driving. So I schedule time and I allow myself to do the things that I love. And you might be thinking, well, that's a bit greedy of you, you know, eating the whole packet of choc chip cookies. No, it's not. I will buy extra. The boys always have cookies. I'm just saying that I allow myself to indulge myself. I'm not holding back from myself. I'm not living in scarcity mode, you know, wishing for everything. I spoil myself because I'm worth it. I give myself two or three hours to go for a drive. I give myself Friday mornings off just to go and surf and have breakfast and sit in the sun. I give myself the things that I desire so that I reinforce that I am worthy. I travel as I choose. I love that. Like I love to travel. So I love to travel whenever I want. You know, a lot of people don't like travel. They might like something else. And that's great. But the bigger message here is give yourself that gift to reinforce that you are worth it. Now, you might say, I can't afford that, James. I can't afford to travel. I can't afford to do what I want to do. Then make the changes that you need to make to allow that. Don't complain about it. Make the changes. Start asking yourself better questions. We've spoken a lot about questions on this podcast. And, you know, asking yourself a better question, not, you know, I can't afford that, but how can I afford that, is a great start. Opens up your thinking. It shifts your perspective. You have to be able to give to yourself. Otherwise, doing all the things that we do as stepdads, as men bringing home income for the family, looking after the family, taking taking them on holidays, all of those things, they become a drain on us if we're not giving to ourselves. Now, as I said, everyone gives to themselves in a different way. For me, it's choc chip cookies and driving in the car and traveling. You know, for other people, it might be massages. It might be, you know, new clothes. could be a new watch, new runners. You know, everyone has their little fix, their desires that they have. You have to service those desires. You have to give back to yourself. Creates, it creates more self-worth the more, you, the more often you do this and in the greater ways that you do this. And it doesn't have to be monetary. It could just be time. You know, for me, I'm not a big, uh, I don't collect a lot of things. Like I'm not into sports cars and fancy watches and all that sort of stuff. For me, it's time. I give myself time to chill out, go surfing, go driving, turn on some good music. Go and sit at a cafe and have breakfast and then just sit and enjoy the sunshine and read a good book. It doesn't need to be expensive when you talk about giving to yourself. 
but the value within that is immense. And this is what you need to be able to cultivate in yourself. It breeds self-worth, being able to say yes to yourself. So today, I'd like you to you know, go across all areas of your life. You know, where are you giving to yourself in your body? For me, it's surfing at the moment. Where are you giving to yourself in, you know, in the being side of things, in that spiritual side or in that side of you know, just connection? You know, do you need to reach out to some new friends? Do you need to start a new church group? Do you need to just give yourself more time to meditate? And what about in balance? Are you giving to yourself there? Do you give yourself the time to connect? Are you connecting properly with your, your family, your loved one? Are you spoiling yourself, taking yourself out on dates? And then in business, are you giving to yourself there? Are you building what you truly want? Or are you being told what to, to build? You know, in business, it's a big driver. We often get caught building what everyone else wants. There has to be a piece of that that is you, that shows the own, your own self-worth within your business. Super powerful. So today, hit your journals. Just work out where you can give more to yourself across body, being, and balance, and business. And I'll talk to you again soon. Would you like to learn more about how stepdads across the globe are joining forces in raising the next generation of leaders? then head to www.stepdadsuccess.com and grab all the show notes plus a copy of the brand new tactical guide for creating more happiness, health, wealth and wisdom as a stepdad. And if you liked the podcast, please share it with other stepdads you know and leave us a review on iTunes. Again, that's www.stepdadsuccess.com for all the show notes and tactical guide. Come and join the new breed of stepdads, the growing group of leaders raising leaders.